Hey, what's up guys? It's Jordan from Teachers Books and today I'm going to be doing my Owl Crate January unboxing. So the theme for the January month was magic and so I got my box in the mail today and I'm going to show it to you and unbox it for you guys and I'm super super excited because I'm hoping there will be some kick-ass Harry Potter stuff in here. I have no idea what the book is. I'm hoping it's not the Truth Witch book because I already got that one. It's like right there so hopefully I don't end up with two copies of the same book because that would kind of suck but yeah let's see what's in this baby I already kind of cut the box open but I haven't looked inside so I'm so excited you guys have no idea <gasps> oh my god 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 okay so the place card is a tarot card which is absolutely amazing look at how beautiful this thing is the first thing I see, which is something I'm so excited to see, is a full-size pop cap, and it's Hermione Granger, which I don't have. I only have Harry Potter, the Gryffindor Harry Potter, and then Hagrid of the Harry Potter ones. I'm in love with this. This is amazing. This is so... I'm so happy I got this. This is... Because I was going to get it anyway, and now I already have it, and... It's like Christmas all over again. Ah. I sent out a survey a little while ago and you could pick like, would you be interested in getting an ebook along with the book you already get? And I guess they're starting it this month. So you can read uh, A Knot in the Grain by Robin McKinley at any time on any device by entering the code at the back. Just pay $3.99 for it, I'm pretty sure, instead of $6.99 or something like that. That's really cool. That's a good idea, like a discounted rate of an ebook. I am definitely going to do this. This is awesome. <laughs> and the book is about, it says, in this collection of five magical stories from the newbie metal reading author of The Hero and the Crown, a mysterious box found in the attic helps a young girl save her new home. A mute woman falls a f meets a fallen mage and a queen escapes her cruel uncle with the help of a shape-changing beast. Awesome. The art print is by this girl named Evie. And I think I've seen her stuff and I think I was looking at it the other day, but it's a throne of glass quote. And it says, you could rattle the stars, she whispered. You could do anything if only you dared. And deep down, you know it too. That's what scares you the most. Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. I was literally looking at this quote, I think, on her page the other day. And I was thinking of getting, like, a pillow or an art print made out of it. So, yay, I'm gonna hang this up on my wall. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, this is really awesome. What's next? Um, I have this little uh, bookmark. And it's from the Raven Boys. Yes! Okay. She wasn't interested in telling other people's futures. She was interested in going out and finding her own. And the trees speak Latin. Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. So, oh my god. That's the front. And then the back looks like this. And it's so pretty. What is this? From the Greek Fire Labs. It's an Etsy store. And it's the it's Patronus Chapstick, I think. Oh, it's the Chocolate Mint uh, Patronus Chapstick. There we go. So it's like... So there's the Patronus chapstick. So another Harry Potter related thing, which is awesome. Wow, this is this is really cool. And finally, I have the book, which is not Truth Witch, thankfully. Um, let me get it out here. So this book is called The Worlds of Ink and Shadow by Lena Croakley. And I have no idea what this is about, but, but Kenneth Opal blurbed it. And I loved Kenneth Opal when I was younger. My teacher actually read Silver Winged All of Us and we really, really enjoyed it. That was back in like grade four or something, so a really long time ago. And there are some goodies inside, so let me open this real quick. There is, once again, a letter from the uh, author, which is awesome, so I'll read that later. And there's also a little, oh my god, it's like, a, I'm like 12 again. I used to make these little like figurines too, and it comes with like dress up clothes. So there's like two different... That's really cool. I'm gonna have fun with this. Oh gosh. These Bronte sisters have vivid imaginations and they create new worlds and new characters. They begin to descend into madness and feel their real self slipping away and their characters are even fighting them to like hold on to their characters instead of themselves or something, which sounds really awesome. I'm excited. I have, haven't heard anything about this book until now and I'm already really, really intrigued. Um, is it fancy underneath? Oh, it's purple. I love when books are purple. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to read this. I love all the goodies in this. This is really awesome. I like the bookmark. I'm definitely going to use the bookmark when the Raven King comes out. I love this little uh, art plate, and I absolutely adore this. So, like, 
Oh, okay, wow, this was a really good box once again. Owlcrate, you just keep getting better and better, I swear. Thank you so much again for Owlcrate for putting together this box. I really enjoyed opening it, and I love that I subscribed to this. I'm so happy that I did. Um, I'll leave Owlcrate stuff down below if you're interested in checking them out. I highly suggest you do. Once again, you can follow me on my Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and my blog. I'll put all the links down below. Thanks for watching, and keep on reading, guys. Bye! Hey, what's up guys? It's Jordan from Teaser's Books, and today I'm going to be doing my Owlcrate February unboxing. So, I'm really behind on my videos recently, I've just been swamped with school, so I'm finally back and I'm gonna start filming videos more regularly, and so they won't be ones that I film like months in advance and stuff like that. So, this is my February Owlcrate unboxing, it is currently March 18th, so I'm a bit behind, a little, little bit, and my March one should be arriving soon actually, but I'm just going to do this one and probably put it together with my January one, so you probably just watch my January Owlcrate. Crate, but here we are again! Hi peoples! So if you haven't heard of Owlcrate, it's basically a monthly subscription box where you get one newly released YA novel and a bunch of goodies to go along with it with a theme every month. Once again, I'll leave all of Owlcrate's stuff down below. If you want to sign up for a box, go ahead. I highly recommend it. I've always been super satisfied with their boxes. And here we go! February's theme was sci-fi love and I'm very excited because I love sci-fi and everything like that. And yeah! So the first thing in my box is the placeholder, and it just has the little picture, and it's really, really cute. And I'm not going to read the back because there's spoilers on the back. And let's see what's in this box. So the first little goodie that I see in my box is a Luna Chronicles tote bag. I have not read Luna Chronicles, but I'm planning on reading it, and I think this is just basically all the ships in each novel. And it's very pretty, and I love the color, and I'm going to use it to take to work, probably, and it's going to be great. And next we have this little box, and I don't know what's inside it, but so we're going to see and get it open. <gasps> it's Doctor Who! It's Doctor Who! I fucking love Doctor Who! It's a TARDIS! Look at it! Look at how pretty! Look at how pretty it is! It's like a little brooch or a pin or something. Oh my goodness! This is amazing. I'm so excited. I don't know where I'm gonna put this on or where I'm gonna wear it. Maybe like put it on a purse or something because it's like a pin. Oh! I love Doctor Who. Perfect thing to do with sci-fi. And the next thing in here is actually a book, but not the actual book. And it, this is The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. I've never heard of this, but I believe it's some kind of classic and they redid them with like these fancy editions, fancy covers, and it's very Instagram worthy. So I'm definitely gonna take some pictures with this later. And finally, the book is The Love That Split the World by Emily Henry. This is a sci-fi book, I'm guessing, because it's sci-fi love. And it comes with a letter from the author as usual and a signed book plate which is really cool um so the book's basically signed kind of in a way the tagline is natalie clearly must risk her future and leap blindly into a vast unknown for the chance to build a new world with the boy she loves it's a sci-fi love story and i love sci-fi and i love romance so i'm definitely going to give this a try when i get a chance is it decorated that's always a good question oh well it kind of is that's a fancy spine very nice, very nice. So that's it for my February Owlcrate unboxing, which was a theme of sci-fi love. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to look at Owlcrate, I'll put all their stuff down below as usual. Once again, you can follow me on my Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and my blog. I'll put all the links down below. Thanks for watching and keep on reading, guys. Bye! It's been so long since I filmed the video. I don't even know what to do with myself.